Hey guys, thank you so much for being here today. I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Chriselle Strauss. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. So I'm going to just do a quick read of her life, general reading. It's not going to be too long. All right, so already I'm picking up from her. There's a lot of like, this is definitely past life. There's something about riches with metal. Like she may have had a lot, There, there's a lot of power around her. So I'm going to Sorry guys, there's a lot of messages coming at me at once. There's a lot of power around her. They're showing me there's a significance with her riches in her past life and her wealth in a past life that had to do with metal. She had some control over metals. Um, I'm also getting like a lot of Greek mythology like figures coming in my head. When I first saw a picture of her, I almost, it's like I saw a statue, but it looked like an Egyptian statue. So there's some connection here between a goddess. It's very powerful. And now, I don't want you guys to get confused. Just because I see a goddess around her or a deity around her or anybody for that matter, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have consciously invoked him. Sometimes deities, goddesses, and other spirits take favor over certain people without them having to do anything. She is highly favored by a deity. It looks like, I don't know if it's Isis. N E P H Neuropathy? I think Queen Neuropathy. I don't I'm not 100 percent sure. But I do see a deity around her. It is an Egyptian goddess and it's very, very powerful. I had to put on extra protection before I continued on with this reading. So all in all, I do feel like Rochelle is a very genuine person. She's coming up as the Queen of Cups here. That means that she is in a very empathetic. She may have some placements in Cancer or Pisces or some water placements here. And she is the type of person that really wants to share her wealth with other people, like her friends. Or, ooh, sorry guys. Her friends, her family members, and she is very comfortable in where she is right now. So we have the Ten of Pentacles right here. She's very comfortable with her finances and how things are going in her life. I feel like there was an old quote that I heard from somebody a long time ago, and it was, this person told it to me when I had lost my previous position as a teacher, and we were basically talking about, like, the the energy of money, and if you are consistently, like, probably over three months making, I don't know, like, $30,000 a month, you've already made the, you're already in the vibrational state to continue to make 30000 a month. And I didn't really, like, believe her because I was like, what are you fucking talking about? And I'm not saying that's how much I make, but I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you know, if you lose your job, you're going to lose your money. That's, that's what we would all think. But don't you know this person was right? And not only did I maintain the income I had, I tripled it within a month. So when you're already in the vibrational frequency of earning a certain amount of money, you're always going to bounce back to that. It may take a year. It may take a few months. It could take a decade. But if you had a past life where you come from a lot of money, you come from royalty, unless there's a hex, a curse, or something, some type of blockage or something in your life contract, you will continue to make that money. Okay? So that basically goes for Chriselle. I feel like in a past life, she was very comfortable financially. And in this life, she is now coming into that a lot of financial security, which is, I feel like it's very important to her because this is a general reading and everything that's here is talking about money. Like, it, this is all about financial security. So she may have really stressed out about financial security. I'm also getting that she is a very big manifester. Like, she sets out for something. She's a very hard worker as well, but she sets out for something and it's like the universe just gives it to her. That also goes with her being very favored by a goddess and having past life as somebody wealthy, okay? I want that to be known, all right? So, I know people want to know about, like, her love life and, like, about Jason because they, I don't, I don't think they recently broke up, but they did break up within a year, I believe, or I'm not sure. So, we are going to go into that, but I do feel like this is the type of person that is, like, a mentor also, she likes to share her wealth, share her good energy, and share her happiness with people that are around her. And she's a very helpful person, okay? So I do feel like she has anxiety too. She doesn't need it because I do feel like this 
this is sig signifying to me that she's going to be set up and taken care of for the rest of her life. But she really does worry about losing all of her money. That's coming up and it's not something that she takes lightly. We're going to pull some cards about her love life. I know she was dating Jason, so I just want to see like what the energy is with Chriselle and Jason. What is his name? Sorry, guys. Oh, Jason Oppenheim. All right, so I'm looking at a picture of him now. My spirit guides are saying that she was a little too masculine for him. What's it like? What is the relationship between Jason and He's hiding something about his sexuality here. Okay. He's a very nice guy, though. I feel like he's a very genuine, good soul. Uh, there's some things that are being hidden here that we don't know about. Okay, Rochelle, Jason. Actually, believe it or not, this relationship really did have potential to work. Show me Rochelle and Jason. Okay, we got the honeymoon card here. I'm getting like very much fling energy. People going into different directions. They're showing me two people meeting in for one, meeting up for one point in time, and then going different directions, um, which is which they did. They broke up, but I do see like I don't want to say this was like a PR stunt, but it kind of just worked out. Like them in the public eye just worked out. It definitely worked out for him because there's some secrets there. I'm not going to, like, get into, but, yeah. I also feel like they've worked out before as a past life. I don't necessarily feel like they were in a relationship in a past life. I'm getting more of, like, a family, a family type of, like, friendship thing going on here in a past life between Chriselle and Jason. What is it like? Somebody wasn't telling the absolute truth in this relationship. Somebody wasn't being as expressive as they should have been in order to maintain this relationship, which is why it was unsuccessful. And I feel like Jason was more hurt about this than Chriselle. Chriselle's a very strong person. She's emotional, but she's a very strong, stoic person when she needs to be. And I feel like we don't see that side of, of her. Hi there. Yeah, control issues. I feel like Rochelle has some control issues too. There's some like secrets here. I feel like she's not the one really keeping secrets, but there were secrets in that relationship. Okay, can you show me something about Rochelle's love life? No. Sorry guys, I know that was like super loud. <laughs> can you show me something about Rochelle's love life? Mm. okay i'm also feeling like chriselle like it, it seems like she's not really in like a super serious thing right now i feel like she's kind of prioritizing her friendships, prioritizing like other relationships more than thinking about settling down. Yeah, and I feel like there's something here holding her back and it has to do with children. Okay. I do see that she's in a very playful time like with her romantic life right now. Okay. I'm hearing that Chriselle has spirit children, like spirit babies. I could do a video on that one day if you want. Um, spirit babies are not the same as rainbow children where you may have had a miscarriage or something happened to your child. It's it's different. Well, rainbow children are spirit children, but we all have, you know, you don't have to have a child pass away or something happened to your child to have a spirit child. You know what I mean? So 
I do feel like spirit children are very much around Chriselle, like kind of wanting to come to Earth. Okay, can you tell me about her love life? She, yeah, this is about staying optimistic. There's something, yeah. I'm hearing that she's holding herself back. I don't see this relationship that she's in with G Flip like necessarily lasting. Um, I do feel like, I'll be honest with you guys, I just feel like this, it's playful, but I don't really see this relationship lasting. And she, I don't wanna say she's in like a crisis where she's like being so negative and thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get what I want. But I do feel like she's really tired of being in a serious relationship. Yeah, this is a You Deserve Love card. I do see that there is some depression about her relationship and where she is with her relationship right now. Okay. I'm going to do some future cards for Michelle. What's going to happen? Hmm. Getting so much cancer energy. I'm not sure her sign. You guys comment her sign below. Yeah, I do feel like she will have children though. Get the wishes fulfilled. This to me usually talks about family because look at this, the picture here. It's a, it's like a lot of food. It's on a table. So I do feel like she will have the family she wants and she deserves. Financially, I see that she's going to be secure. Um... I think she'll be very relieved to know that she's not going to go broke. I, I just don't see it. And also, I want to give you another example about what I said earlier about being in the vi being a vibrational match to your income. So that does not include people that get rich fast, like people that win the lottery or like some rappers. That's different. If you were not meant to make millions of dollars, you can make millions of dollars for a few months. But it's not going to stick because you're not in the vibrational match to have that type of money flow to you yet. So I know people are going to think I'm crazy for saying that. And like, I, I'm not trying to sound like woo-woo or anything. But it has proved to be true in my life. And I've seen it with my clients as well. Okay, can you tell me about Rochelle future for Rochelle? All right, they're not really giving me any other indication of what's going to happen. They're just saying that she is going to get what she wants, but the rest is still for her to decide what she wants in her life other than this big feast of food and, like, I guess monetary gain and um, family, bigger family. So they are saying she's going to get what she wants. I, I don't see her and Jason... Uh, not like remaining friends i see that they are going to be friends there's going to be sexual tension between them for a while i do feel like jason's going to ask her out again or jason's going to try and like have a second chance with her but i don't necessarily feel like she chriselle is going to be super into it okay guys i hope you enjoyed this reading reading start at 20 dollars for everybody that is new here and we have some amazing sales going on right now. All right, bye.